The Colombian government and the National Liberation Army ELN, have initiated a six-month ceasefire in an effort to achieve permanent peace in the country. This agreement, announced on June 9 during talks in Havana, aims to put an end to the insurgency that has been ongoing since the 1960s. However, there is skepticism among some Colombians regarding the effectiveness of the peace process, especially in relation to the alleged involvement of the ELN in drug trafficking. The ELN leadership denies such involvement. The ceasefire also includes the formation of a national committee to discuss a long-term solution to the conflict, with the first meeting scheduled for later on the same day. The agreement involves suspending attacks between the guerrillas and the Colombian police and military throughout the country, and it can be extended if progress is made during the peace negotiations. The United Nations will deploy a contingent of 68 observers to monitor the ceasefire. Colombian President Gustavo Petro has been actively advocating for a total peace that involves disarming all of the country's remaining rebel groups and drug trafficking gangs. While the ELN has officially endorsed the ceasefire, its leader has warned that the group reserves the right to fight back if attacked. The ELN, founded in the 1960s, has been historically challenging to negotiate with for previous Colombian governments.